dick. Okay. Okay. It's, it's pretty centered. Can you move that chair out of the that? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's out of the shot. Okay. And now sit down. I want to see if it's tall enough. We should have had you wear the uh, the shirt with you jerking off my dick. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been great. Um, should have brought it. Let's see. Look at the camera. Hey, bitch. Are you, are you scooching in all the way? Waiting to see like, my dick. how you're going to sit for the video. Waiting to see my dick. Hey, Sco scooch over that way a little bit more so you're more centered. I want it to be like, like there's like a window on each side of you. Yeah. And then like you're like in the middle of the middle window. So it's like, it's like this, this great aesthetic of like, because I, I want this Subway sandwich reveal. <laughs> To be cinematic. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going is what? I don't know. Keep telling me about your, uh, what you got planned here. Well, so, I mean, it's really up to you. So with your sandwich, do you want to, um, just open it up and show it? Or do you want to have, like, a little preface where you talk about, like, Subway sandwiches and then you recap, like, the, the crumbly bread and all that stupid shit? Like, do you want to talk about all that again? Or you just want to be like, yeah. it's this and this? And no, no. Oh, that would be kind of good if it's, like, a five-second video of just me, like, spitting off all the ingredients really fast and then it's <laughs> done. That'd be pretty good. Uh, so is that what you want to do? Uh, Wait, you say five-second video? Like, do it really quick? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Okay. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, wait till you see. But are you gonna actually? Cause you are you gonna actually show the sandwich. I mean, you bought it. Are you just did you just get that to eat? Oh, what if like I just I open it up, I rattle off everything off, and then I just like throw it out a wall or some shit. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go film it at your house then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pack up all the gear. <laughs> now I'm sure my mom would love it if she came home and there's like a subway sandwich glued to the wall that you really really hard. Yeah. yeah, sorry, we we had to go film uh, let's plays after, so we didn't have time to clean it up. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to town, swiping here. Yeah, how many girls have you got so far? Um, I think this newest one hits me at like 25. And how many have you swiped yes to? Oh, dude. <laughs> 2,500? I'm, I'm just fucking... <laughs> keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. What? Keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. Come on, keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. Well, I mean, it's is like... It, is it easier just to hit the like button or to swipe? See, I don't, I don't know. No, this is slower. Oh, okay. I mean, it's probably easier, but it's like, it, I don't get that satisfaction. <laughs> you know. Of swiping somebody yes or no? Of just, oh, there is no no. It's only <laughs> yes. What's the... Do you have a lot of good conversations that you can talk about on the show today? Oh, dude. Oh, I'm looking forward I've got, to it. I've got some pretty good ones. Don't going. spoil them for All me. Right. I don't want to hear them yet. They're pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, like... I've got some that are just like really simple, like come over. <laughs> and, oh, oh, I thought you were oh, telling me to come over. No, I was no, like, no, okay, no, no. Um, of like me just like uh, sending a girl like come over, and the, <laughs> but I never did anything back. It's like, god damn it, it'd be so funny if I just get something. <laughs> or like I'll send like the entire whisper song to some. I sent that to like three or four people, and fucking nothing, nothing. It's like, damn it, they're not into it. Damn it, they want an original work. I guess yeah. I'll just have to I'll have to spend some time get something going. Okay. So I've been playing a uh, uh, a lot more. Uh, okay. Nino Cooney, right? What's that? Nino Cooney, the game that I was playing yeah, yeah, last the time. Yeah, Pokemon ripoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That game's actually really. I've been having a blast. With I that got game. that impression from watching you gleefully play it like a five-year-old boy on Christmas. Yeah, that game is fucking great. You still um, have the Banana Man. Yeah, dude. I don't think I don't think I can get rid of him. I love him too much. <laughs> yeah. He's holding bananas, fucking slamming guys with uppercuts left and right. You said they evolve in that game, right? Yeah, like once they get to a certain level, you can uh, morph them into their more advanced. Oh, they form. call it morphing instead yeah, of a metamorphosis. Oh, okay. But um, depending on like what uh, familiar you're using, that's what they're called. The monsters are called familiars. Yeah. Depending on which ones you're using, it's better to wait until you max their level out and then morph them. Because then they're more powerful. Because when you uh, morph them, their stats get cut in half on their second form. Why? Why? When they get stronger? They do. Because once you start, because since their stats get cut in half, they start back at level one. And then you build them back up. So then their stats this are like. This is going twice over my strong. head. This, no, this, it's it's this easy. game it's for easy. teenage 
Uh, uh, three teams, it's going over. <laughs> and you, honestly, the game's not that hard. You don't I'm guessing really once you actually that. play it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's not that hard of a game, so you don't even really have to do that. It's just oh, like, really? yeah. Some of the like the ones that are like supposed to be like in-game really strong, I'll do that for. But like ones that I'm going to end up tossing once I get the stronger okay. ones. Yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to just toss your friends away. <laughs> See, that's my problem. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm using Banana Boy, and I can't just toss them. I love them too much. I thought much. he had like the highest attack in the game. Um, until like, until later in the game. Dude, potassium is pretty tough. It's true. It's the guy has strongest good... elements. Yeah. I'm trying to come up with like this, this thesis of, uh, um. Like an, an essay thesis? Kind of. Like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece it together still on like how, uh, the game is supposed to be, you know, uh, the main character's mom dies and it's, uh, he's traveling to this, uh, fairy world because everyone in the real world and the fairy world or whatever the fuck the other world's called has like a, a, a second person that they connect to. Like it doesn't have to be a person like one guy's connected to like a dog in the real world. I fucking hate dogs. And, and um, <laughs> the guy in the fairy world owns a dragon and the dragon in the real world is the dog's owner. So it's like they swapped. You're, you know? you're confusing me again. Anyways, so um, what happened was the main character's mom was uh, like a great sage or whatever. There are four great sages or some shit like that. And she was captured by uh, the evil wizard uh, Shadar, I think is his name. Gandalf. Gandalf, yeah, yeah, the evil wizard Gandalf. That sounds right. And since she was captured in the fairy world, his mom died in the real world. So his uh, quest is to go and... Uh, so if he rescues his... her in the fairy world, does she come back to life? Right, that's that's their thought process, uh, what they're going wait, through. Wait, this is the thesis you're writing? No, 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 no. This is just the story of the game. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure what I'm uh, um, trying to come up with in my head is like uh, that the whole fairy world deal is... Um, just like a story he's coming up with himself to try and cope with the loss of his mother you know so it's all just couldn't you easily be proven wrong when you complete the game and find out what happens exactly <laughs> so, so it's a pointless endeavor but like it started with one of the first cutscenes, like when he first gets his wand to cast like magic spells and stuff like that and the very first cutscene that he does it with um he's just holding like a wooden stick Oh, uh, so, so it might just it, be in his head. Right, right, mm -hmm. and that's where the whole thing started. But then, like, as you, like, progress through the game, uh, it's kind of a self-defeating uh, thesis because, like, in the real world... Like, like you're theses, still they're yeah, all self-defeating. Right. <laughs> um, you're in the real world, and you're actually, like, casting spells and, like, helping people with your spells. Maybe a psychosis casting. is just getting increasingly worse and worse as he can. And that's, that's kind of what I'm wondering. And, yeah. like, maybe... Um, in reality, he just has, like, stray dogs and homeless people following him around. <laughs> no, no. Like, like, I'm wondering if, like, in reality, like, he's just... Uh, he's just helping these people with their problems and whatnot, and he's just, like... In his head, he's saying that you know I'm casting spells or whatever, and I'm mm -hmm. helping these people with their problems. I'm I'm fighting their inner demons or whatever, because like every once in a while, someone will be like completely consumed with darkness, and you fight like whatever that nightmare is that's consuming them. And so it could just very well be that he's just you know helping them with their problems, helping them get over it, and then um, connecting them back with their family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It could just be something like that. But like, Are you going to invest time to... into writing this thesis instead of doing your actual schoolwork? Dude, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm trying to... Um, I just kind of, I was thinking about this on my drive where I was wondering if like um, possibly the evil wizard Shadar is like supposed to represent his father. His name is Shitdar? Shadar. Oh, okay. S-H-A-D-A-R. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so I'm trying to like come up with this this plan or this uh, idea that it's supposed to represent his dad and like uh, his mom and his dad like fighting possibly over custody oh, of man. the main character. You're getting dark with this kid's game. I mean, I mean, it's interesting when you like when you kind of piece things together like that, and like it kind of makes sense yeah. in a way. So I don't know, but it's been a lot of fun. I don't know exactly how far along in the game I am quite yet, but am I gonna be in this video at all? Cause I got I got my costume and stuff. I mean, you can be if you want. I'm gonna flip the screen around so I can see what it would look like. All right. Cause what I just like, what it could be kind of funny if. If they just see you and like I'm hiding behind you and then at some point I just pop out like here can you see me? I'm oh like it's like I'm I'm revealing what's on my subway. Yeah, and then I, like I pop sandwich. out of nowhere like oh hey what's on that? You know, <laughs> something like that. Oh, uh, and then like I <laughs> freak out and I like I dump the sandwich on the floor. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. Yeah, that's the end of the video. That'd be pretty good. Can get a shot of you like eating it off of the floor. Oh shit! All right, we're getting we're getting pretty good. Okay, oh. So can you see me on the screen though? 
At all? No. Am I like under the table? Uh, no. Yeah. Bam. Okay. That's pretty good. Well, should we just fucking wing it then? I mean, it's a, it's a fucking Subway sandwich. Yeah, How that's fair. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record and we'll get going.